Hey everybody, it's me, CRB, and I'm back with another video. So as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be giving you guys a one month update on my Accutane journey. So before we get started, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn your post notifications on so you can get notified every time I post a new video. If you are interested in these acne videos, I will be posting every month about them. So if you have those post notifications turned on, you'll get notified every time I post an acne video. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. So throughout this whole video, I'm going to be giving you guys a week by week update on what has been going on with my face. I currently am wearing no makeup because this is an acne video. I want it to be able to show my skin so you guys can see what it looks like now um, and what it looked like before. I will have videos and pictures included. So let's just go ahead and get started, y'all. Let's start off with the first week. The first week that I started, I noticed already off the bat, I noticed really tiny heat bumps. Well, they weren't heat bumps, they were actual bumps, but they were really tiny bumps and they reminded me of heat bumps all over my forehead. And I never really break out on my forehead, so I was kind of surprised that stuff even came out from there. Now they did tell me that I was going to go through the purging cycle where basically everything comes out of my face and then it clears itself up. I also had bumps on the side of my cheek down here and on this side but they were actual like hard bumps and eventually they just kind of came out and I don't really know where they went honestly. I guess every time I wash my face it, they just like went away. And I did have really dry lips. I noticed within like the first couple of days, my lips got really dry. The thing that I noticed about my lips being dry was that they were actually a different type of dry than normal. It almost felt like my lips were raw, but they didn't hurt. They just felt weird and they were dry. And like they could be really smooth, but, they, but I still need to put something on them because they felt dry. So the second week, I noticed that I had dry little spots on my face. It wasn't my com like my whole face. It was just dry spots on my face, and I and I did notice that the spots on my face just so happened to be darker spots that were drying up and peeling, which I was excited about because to me that means it's working. That means the dark spots are com going away. My skin is replenishing new skin. I'm just happy. Like I mentioned in that second week, it was just dry lips, dry spots on my face, and the bumps slowly faded. I could start, I started to notice like, okay, the bumps are going away, my dark spots are going away, it's working. I had got three new bumps right here on my face. And I was getting really sad and really starting to think that this stuff wasn't working and that my face was just gonna be even more screwed up. But I actually started to notice that I was getting more comfortable going out in public with no makeup on because my dark spots had faded so much over two weeks time. That's faster than any topical cream I've ever used, y'all. I've tried so many creams and so, so many other acne solutions that didn't work. This is just crazy. The last week, which is today, the fourth week, finally, I'm moving on. <laughs> but this fourth week, I actually really started to notice like the texture in my skin is changing. Now, if you've seen that first video, you could see that the texture of my skin was like, it wasn't, it was kind of dry and like bumpy if that makes sense, it wasn't cute. But now I'm actually, this is me with no makeup, no oils or anything on my skin. This is just my skin right now. And if you look at my nose, I'm starting to notice that it's changing texture. Like this is really shiny, my skin looks smoother. Like I still have a long way to go. I still have five months to go, but for this to be the first month, I'm really excited. Now, this is the fourth week and I have also noticed that I have gotten, I'm still getting breakouts. I got one here and then I got some down on my chin. Um, and I'm assuming the reason for that is because it's that time of the month for me. And I usually get bumps on my, well I usually get one or two bumps on my face during that time of the month and 
I wasn't sure if it was gonna happen while I was on this medicine, but I guess so. Um, so yeah, but I'm hoping that it kind of like fades off and doesn't happen as much. And now we're just gonna jump right into the side effects that I've been having. This, the side effects that I have are dry lips, dry face, and I have been having back pain. But really that's all. I haven't had any dry um, eyes. I haven't had any like dry skin on my arms or anywhere else. It's really just those main three things. I don't know if it's because it's just my first month, but I haven't had any negative thoughts. Um, yeah, I've only had those three side effects and I'm hoping that it stays that way. I'm really nervous about everything else that comes with it uh, or down the line or months ahead, but I'm super excited with the progress that I've been making so far. Um, I do wear sunscreen every single day, even if I'm just sitting in the house with this stay at home ordering place. I always put on sunscreen because like the sun is beaming in right now and I don't want it to make my dark spots darker. I don't have any on right now because it leaves a white cast on my face. So it would be not cute and you wouldn't be able to see my natural skin right now. Y'all don't mind my eyebrows, I know I need them done. But yeah y'all, so I so far am liking the process. I'm nervous about what's to come next, but I'm also excited for clear skin. If you guys have been going through like some kind of acne journey, you know, you know how it is. And it's not fun. It's not, you don't feel good about yourself when you have to wake up in the morning and look in the mirror and see dark spots all over your face or bumps all over your face. It's just annoying. And then you get on Instagram and you see people posting about all this, oh, no makeup. Okay, it's gonna be me, watch. <laughs> okay, y'all, but yeah, so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about my Accutane experience for this first month or any other questions in general about Accutane, feel free to comment down below. Um, if you wanna know what products I use on my face day and night, I can make another video about that. I'll be happy to um, because I actually do wanna do that. I might do that actually, but yeah. Also, make sure to go check out my other videos. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one.